whatever the transaction that is going to happen that is virtual through online with the help of internet that we call it as a online banking by using digital platforms i can transfer money whenever i want and wherever i can without internet we cannot access a service of a digital banking system it is going to virtually ask me so this is a bill that had generated can i pay the bill hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all i am mr hemant kumar from the department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college mysuru the temple of excellence this is session 1 of unit 5 that is digital banking of the subject banking law and practice for first semester bcom students this is agenda of today's session we are covering four concept in today's session that is meaning of digital banking features of digital banking advantages and disadvantages of digital banking these are the four topics that we need to cover in today's session meaning of digital banking so as of now we had gone through all the concepts of banking as of now but we are going with the concept of digital banking in today's session okay what is this digital banking you will be familiar with this concept called digital banking because starting from a small children till a uh, old age people they are aware of this digital banking concept because we had adopted the digital banking system in our routine life means one or the other way we keep on using digital platforms for the banking transaction that online platform we call it as a digital banking means earlier days if i want to make purchase i have to carry physical cash but nowadays i can carry digital cash means whatever the transaction that i can make through the online virtually especially after the contribution of ims rtgs neft and upi for the digital banking system so the mode of transaction get increased comparatively right so this is a contribution that is given by the science and technology for the banking system right so the best example for the digital banking is we carry cell phone everywhere right so we consider a mode of payment that is phone pay or google pay if i purchase anything so instead of carrying the physical cash so i am going to make a payment through phone pay or google pay so that is a best example for digital banking it is like e currency okay so digital banking refers to the use of online and the electronic platforms so uh, we are supposed to use online or electronic platforms for the transactions that we are going to make in our routine life to conduct various banking activities and services so it is going to conduct various kinds of banking activities and services so it is going to conduct various kinds of services right banking company so in a same way this digital banking also we can access a various kind of services that is given by a bank which are all those uh, services checking account balance so earlier days we are supposed to visit a bank to check account balance or to withdraw money so by using a digital platform of banking we can check the balance through various applications it may be phone pay google pay amazon pay paytm right so there are various applications through which we can check our bank balance and there are number of applications that is launched by the particular bank sector means state bank of india it had launched yono right so yono we come to know the balance deposits and uh, transactions so right so it is going to give all the relevant information regarding my account right checking account balance transferring fund if i want to transfer the fund from my account to somebody else account i can transfer the account through upi i can transfer the account to amazon pay google pay or phone pay paying bills so earlier days if i want to pay electric bill if i want to pay water bill i have to visit a office with a queue and later i am supposed to pay the bill right it is just a waste of time means here this this digital banking had facilitated its customer to pay the bill virtually means we can pay any kind of bills virtually through digital banking system like it may be electric bill water bill it may be mobile recharge it may be recharge for a dish right any kind of a digital transaction that we can make 24 7 applying for loans so virtually we can apply for the loans based on the 
credit or civil score right based on the civil score that we can virtually apply for the loan so earlier days before the introduction of the digital banking system we are supposed to visit the bank and we are supposed to apply for the loan nowadays we can apply the loan by the cell phone and there are many more applications which is going to benefit for the customer for the sake of a payment or the transaction that he is going to make in his routine life. This approach offers greater convenience and accessibility making banking services available 24 into 7 from anywhere with an internet connection. So we can do any kind of a banking transaction through digital platforms. Features of digital banking. This digital banking have certain features. Online banking so whatever the transaction that is going to happen that is virtual through online with the help of internet that we call it as a online banking upi unified payment interface by using unified payment interface we can transfer the money within fraction of second best example is amazon and phone pay through upi we make a transaction we can pay amount within a fraction of second means that is debited and credited within a fraction of second personal financing solutions banking in india had given next generation financial services and securities such as emi calculator finance through online and we can borrow the loan through online mode these are the various facilities that is provided by the digital banking system to its customer so that the customer feel very comfortable to go with all the transaction that he is going to make routinely loyalty program these are the programs that is conducted by virtual institutions to attract customer and to retain customers means best example for loyalty program is the introduction of phone pay and google pay for the current generation right so for each and every transaction they were giving a reward or the scratch card so that the customer get attracted towards that reward point or the scratch card they keep on adopting a system of digital payment right to attract customer and retain customer it had provided loyalty program for the benefit of customers so that customer had adopted a digital payment system for his routine life digital wallet all kinds of uh, digital applications, digital payment applications are the example for digital wallet. Phone pay, Google pay, Amazon pay, right? These are the digital wallet where we can keep money and utilize that money whenever is required. Mobile banking. So all the banking services we can access through cell phone that we call it as a mobile banking means each and every individual bank it had launched their own application for the banking transaction. It may be a payment of bill, it may be checking the balance, it may be for the transaction right. So say for an example State Bank of India it had launched the application of a YONO right. This State Bank of India had launched application called YONO. Through YONO, we can check our balance, we can collect many statement, we can know about the history of the transaction that is going to happen, we can know our civil score and also we can make investment through this kind of applications. Phone banking without internet. So, without use of internet, we can access the balance. Means, after debit or credit in our account, the banking company it is going to send a message to a registered mobile number. And also I can access my balance by giving a missed call for the toll free number by the registered mobile number. So say for an example, this is my uh, registered mobile number. If I give a missed call for the toll free number of the respective bank, it is going to send a message of the details of my balance what is the balance and what is the uh, transaction that is going to happen in my bank account. It is going to send a complete information that we call it as a phone banking without internet. So without internet also we can access the digital banking service. Message alerts. So as I said it is going to send a message alerts notifications after withdrawing a debit or credit right of the amount. People nowadays have a facility from the end of a banking company regarding the advice of the financial statement or advice of the sufficient balance of our account. It is going to give complete information regarding the accounts. Automatic payment of bills. We can make a payment of bills, water bill, electricity bill, recharge, right? So through online mode. 
This month I paid electricity bill. Next month also I pay electricity bill. And next month also I am supposed to pay electricity bill. Means the fourth month what happens? It is going to virtually ask me. So this is a bill that had generated. Can I pay the bill? in terms of phone pay also and google pay also right so it is a kind of a facility it is going to send a reminder regarding the payment of bill in terms of recharge also so today i had recharge for the plan of 28 days after the completion of 28 days it is going to send a notification telling that your package had been end within three to two days can i recharge for so and so package so it is a facility that is provided by digital banking and these are the features of digital banking system for the benefit of its customers. Digital banking advantages. There are a few advantages by using the digital banking platforms transferring money. So by using digital platforms, I can transfer money whenever I want and wherever I can. Deposits. So I can make a deposit of amount virtually. It may be fixed deposit. It may be virtual deposit. Even I can make a investment through a digital banking mode right bill payment and recharge so i can pay any kind of a bill through virtually uh, i can make any kind of a recharge cell phone recharge any kind of a recharge that i can make virtually account tracking so i can track my account means through digital media i can track my balance i can track history i can track all the transaction that is going to happen in my account i can uh, download a account statement of past six months or one year virtually in the pdf format right so that i have a clarity regarding the transaction that had happened in my account virtually placing bank product orders so i can place a uh, orders of a banking product means which are the product that the banking company is going to sell so it is going to sell draft, it is going to sell shares, debentures, right? Through online mode, I can purchase this kind of a banking product. Extra services. These are the extra services that is rendered by a banker for the benefit of his customer, right? Rather than these kinds of services, it is a extra service, means we can make investment on stock, we can purchase shares, we can purchase debentures and bonds and also we can invest on mutual fund, EDR, GDR by using a specific banker's application. Means in terms of a State Bank of India, it is you know, uh, in terms of Bank of Baroda, there is a specified application. In terms of Karnataka Bank, there is a specific application, right? So a banker, he's facilitated its customer with the extra services for the benefit of his customer. Digital banking disadvantages. So these are the disadvantages of a digital banking. No option for the cashless deposit. Yes, of course, yes. So there is no opportunity for the cashless deposit. Say for an example, I have 1 lakh rupees in hand. But if I want to deposit that amount, I have to visit a bank. It does not happen virtually. It is one of the disadvantage of digital banking. Must have internet access. Means majority of digital banking platform can work only through online mode not through offline mode means without internet we cannot access a service of a digital banking system means if i want to access a digital banking system only through online mode it is one of a disadvantage of a banking system but there is a single service which i can access without internet that is checking of balance by sending a missed call they are going to drop a message for the registered mobile number right if i give a missed call for the toll free number right so they are going to drop a message for the registered mobile number about my balance that is a facility that is facilitated by a banker to its customer to use a digital banking system without internet internet scams it is the biggest problem in today's generation that is internet scams. So, a people that they can hack our account and they may cheat, right? So, they must be very careful regarding uh, internet scams. They must be very careful regarding internet scam and also must follow the legal procedures that is given by a central authority. In next session, we are going through security measures for online banking. So, to avoid from the frauds 
or online fraud, which are all the precautionary measures that the individual that they must take in the online banking, e-banking transactions. So how the e-banking transaction it is going to takes place regarding uh, NEFT, RTGS and SWIFT. So these are the e-banking transactions that we are going through in next session. Thank you.